and to Tennessee now where the flooding took out roads, cell phone towers and phone lines. About a dozen people are still missing there after record breaking rain sent floodwaters surging through rural Tennessee about an hour west of Nashville, killing at least 22 people. And now a Portsmouth nonprofit is providing help in the areas that need it most. Casey Baylor shares the efforts from Mercy Chefs. Casey. Well, Dan, uh, Mercy Chefs had plans to head to Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York to respond to Henri damage. The group noticed there wasn't much of a need there, so members diverted their efforts to Tennessee, where people are searching for their loved ones. Record rainfall over the weekend in Tennessee left many people struggling to stay afloat. We're just seeing debris piles everywhere. 17 inches of rain fell, causing heavy flooding in Waverly, Tennessee, and destroying many homes. That's where Mercy Chefs diverted its efforts from the Northeast area after Henri weekend. We arrived here yesterday. We're setting up now. We'll be cooking sometime in the, um, um, this morning and we'll be getting meals out here in Waverly. Mercy Chef's Gary LeBlanc says the team arrived yesterday. He says homes and businesses aren't the only things broken. We're seeing broken people. Um, there is an incredible loss of life here in Waverly and they're still searching for for victims and so everyone is sort of on pins and needles. The group is planning to serve about 5,000 meals a day, hoping to bring comfort to families trying to find their loved ones. We, we just believe that hope can, can find its way in over a shared meal. LeBlanc says Mercy Chefs will stay on the ground until Tennessee organizations can get back on their feet. Mercy Chefs will make that commitment to do whatever we need to do to help Waverly get back to a place of normal. Mercy Chefs is working hard from coast to coast right now. LeBlanc says his team in California is helping families impacted by the wildfires there. Dan. Casey, they do.